Hello everyone, this is Billy. Today I want to show you my 3D Designs ring variometer that you can use to uh, put into your regular crystal radio. Like what I'm doing, I'm mounting it to a crystal radio 3D printer board. And I can mount it in this way, just put the screws in then there's an M12 screw and screw it in like this and then you can turn the coil uh, the favorite ring core is the R40C one this one is a bit thicker it's a 15 millimeter thick ferret core but uh, the size is smaller 37 millimeter diameter so again, the, the wires for the coil is wound using the list wire, 60 times 0.04 millimeter. It will give better performance in the AM broadcast range. And I even printed the knob. So this is the knob I printed. And you can put in an M3 screw to fasten it. Let me show you. And uh, use it to turn. This is a 3 to 1 ratio uh, reducer. So that's the uh, planetary gear here. So ring is called the sun, and then the three other smaller gear is called the planets. And then the outermost one, I call it the ring. So you'll find different components uh, in my 3D design files. Just clean each one and you can assemble it. The reason why we want to create the planetary gear is not just for fun. First, we need to achieve a free to run reducer. Secondly, we want to use the friction of the planetary gear to secure the ring ferret in place. You see, the ring ferret is cut in half. So because of gravity, if you let it loose, uh, the ring, half ring will always fall to the bottom and you can't keep the position with your variometer. I used the user defined the parameters in Fusion 360 to define the size of the ring. Ring O, uh, ring DO is the outer diameter of the ring, DI is the inner hole, H is the thickness of the forehead core. So you can uh, generate different size to fit your ferret core. I've created multiple versions of it, so you can download the right size for your ferret core. In terms of the design, we use the planetary gear. There's a lot of video in YouTube that shows you how to create a planetary gear. Uh, the problem here I see is those video uh, does not show you how to tune the thickness of the gear so that you can fit nicely within the planetary gear. Uh, I follow some of the video and find that it's too tight, I can't even move. So how do we make the gear smaller so they can fit within the planetary gear? I'll show you later on uh, on the video how you can tune the thing called modulus and backlash back uh, to make it happen. So using the motion joint and the as built joint in Fusion 360, we can do some very interesting animation of the gear. Let me hide away the knob so you can see clearly how the planetary gear works. The middle of the gear is called a sun gear, and then the three other smaller gear surrounding it is called the planet gears. And then the outermost one that drives the uh, ferret core is the ring. Let me show you how to create a planetary gear and tune the tightness of the gear. So first go to Tools, Add-ins, and then select the Spur Gear Add-in and run the script. Then you'll see a table for you to fill in the parameters of a gear. So we are looking for 
modulus 1, which will give you the smallest gear, and 12 teeth. The backslash means how loose we want the gears to be. Let's put in 0 0.5. And then we have the thickness. We want a 6 millimeter thick, and the hole, we don't want to drill a hole, so we put in 0. You see there's a warning here at the bottom that says the maximum of the radius uh, must be 0.59. So we change that parameter called root fillet radius to 0.59. Then we need to create the other three gears of the same size by using the copy command, copy the component, and then paste new to create a new component. Once we created that, we need to move it out from where it is uh, to the new position. Make sure the circle in between the gears are touching each one. So they are tangent to one another, which is the best way to uh, for the two gears to interact like this. Then we need to turn the upper gear to the right position, so the teeth will be biting on one another. Then we can click Solid, Create Pattern, Circular Pattern, to create two more gears. So we highlight the original gear that we want to create, select the center point of the sun gear, the middle gear, then it will automatically create the two other gears. Lastly, we need to create the ring gear, that is a circle covering these four gears. So again, we run this add-in for spur gear. This time we choose 36 teeth. And then the backslash zero, but we need to increase the module a bit to 1.02 to make the, the ring a bit bigger to accommodate some slack gaps in between the gears. And we can click create to create. So this gear is not what we want, we want a ring, we want an inner gear. So we are going to use it as a tool to create our ring gear that we want. So we draw a bigger circle, 54 millimeter, in the sketch. And then we will use that to create a pattern that we can extrude uh, to create our own ring. Then we can hide the original spur gear and leave the ring gear. Then bring back all the sun gears and planet gears. So here what we have is a planetary gear, however there's still a little bit uh, adjustment we need because the planet gear is not biting well with the teeth of the rain gear. So uh, we need to do some move to turn the rain gear a bit so it will match. And finally now we have a planetary gear. So we'll build on this gear to create the rest of the variometer. Uh, I won't spend so much time talking about it, you can just watch the playback of the timeline.
Next is the testing. I'm testing using two telescopic antennas outdoor. And first I use the diode for the detector. And then later on I will swap into 3DQ. So enjoy the rest of the testing. Thank you. Now let me swap the diode with a 3DQ. So my diode was a 1SS198, it's quite good. And now I use my 3DQ, 3SK143-Q is a MOSFET. Listen This is what we have for today. If you like my video, remember to click subscribe, like and share with your friends too. Until next time, bye bye.